Hello everybody! This video is about how to create and delete restore points in Windows 10 and how to use them to recover your system. With the help of restore points you can recover Windows 10 system files as well as restore operability of the operating system, correct errors that suddenly appeared or restore the system back to the condition at the time of creating the restore point. By default, Windows creates a new restore points when installing or uninstalling updates, drivers or applications. In order to create a new restore point, right-click on the Start menu and go to Control Panel. Select the View option – Large icons. Then look for Recovery. In the next window, click on Configure System Restore and click Create in the System Protection tab. Then enter a description to identify the restore point. The current date and time of creating a restore point are added automatically. Click on Create and wait for the process to finish. It should not take long. After that, we can see the message that the restore point was created successfully. Here it is. We can also adjust automatic creation of system restore points. To do it, go to the Start menu, then to Control Panel, then to Administrative Tools and Start Task Scheduler. In the left window, select Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows, System Restore. Right-click on the SR line and click on Properties. In the next window, open the tab Triggers and click New. This is where we can choose when to start a task. On a schedule, at logon, at setup, on idle, etc and adjust each task in the way we like. In order to recover Windows 10 from a restore point, go to Control Panel. Find the element recovery. Click on Open System Restore. And then next. I'd like to note that recovering Windows from a restore point affects only system and software settings of the operating system. Using the restore point will delete all programs that have been installed after such restore point was created. And it will not recover files deleted before that. Select the necessary restore point from the list and click Next. Confirm that you want to start System Restore from this restore point and the process will start. If Windows won't boot, we can start System Recovery in the System Recovery environment. For this purpose you can use a recovery disk, a boot disk or a flash drive. Alternatively, after three incorrect attempts to start Windows, this environment will start automatically. In the Recovery environment, click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, System Restore. After that, click on Next, choose the necessary restore point, click Next again and wait for the process to finish. Another method is to recover the system from a restore point using the command prompt as an as administrator. 
This method is good for cases when the only real variant for your Windows 10 to load is Safe Mode with Command Prompt. To do it, start the Command Prompt and enter RS2IXA. It will start the, graf the graphics interface of the Recover Wizard. To delete restore points, we can use two variants. The first one is deleting all restore points, but the latest. To do it, right-click on the disk where restore points are saved. And click Properties. In the tab General, select Disk Cleanup. Wait until the Disk Cleanup preparation process is complete. After that, click on Clean Up System Files and wait for the disk scanning process to be over. Then go to the tab More, op more Options, select System Restore and Shadow Copies and click on Clean. After that, all restore points except for the latest one will be deleted. The second variant is deleting all restore points including the latest. To do it, open Control Panel, Recovery, Advanced Recovery Tools, select Configure in the System Protection tab. After that, click Delete and wait until all restore points are deleted. Thank you for your attention and good luck!